goes away. Don't be scared of chaos and anarchy. Be scared of the guy who says, put me in charge, and I will fix the world. He is not your master. You are your master. All right. Um, <laughs> there we go. I really wish that um, Katarina was around at the moment, but seeing as she's not, I'm going to tell you an interesting story that she told me that happened to her the other day. Um, she's been traveling around the world and stuff, and her latest stop has been um, in the Austin, Texas area, and she'll be there for the foreseeable future until her and her husband, you know, venture on to somewhere else. Um, but anyway, she was at this one, well, her and Paul were at this one guy's house um, who was just like this total new agey hippie, but like old paradigm, not new paradigm. And he has legitimate intuitive abilities and stuff, but what people don't realize is that an intuitive ability is like a hammer. It's just, you know, it's a tool. But our paradigms still get in the way. So when he uses his abilities to see certain things, that data still has to pass through his mental malware <laughs> and then ends up becoming really screwed up by the time it gets to his perceptions. And um, he was kind of detecting that Paul was going through his own paradigm shifts, but because these New Agers have really no concept of paradigm shift or integration or balance or anything like that. They're more, more like, love and light, shun the dark, when their intuitive abilities see that someone's going through a paradigm shift. How they perceive it is there's an evil entity or energy attached to them. Oh my God, purify, must purify with the light. Well, you know, there's some group of people who also were all about purification, and they were known as the Nazis, <laughs> you know. So I refer to that sort of thing as spiritual fascism. And um, Katerina and I, we are going to be um, once again on... 32 Degrees of Insanity with Donnie Gilson. Haven't haven't really been on that show at all since like 2012. And, you know, we could see the, the nice little logo here. And I did up this graphic. Positive timelines and how to deal with left-right paradigm cognitive dissonance. Barbecue grilling the sacred cows of the... Cynics, conspiracy theorists, New Agers, status, and anyone in society has stuffing themselves into a box of collective Stockholm Syndrome. Leave your dogmas at the door. Well, the story that Katerina had told me kind of inspired me to some funny little spoofs. Because I was like, okay, let's, let's go through the different, different paradigms then. Um, this could be interesting. So, first I have the original logo. Then, because of the controversial nature of this type of radio show, we thought it would be fun to take a look at how we will be interpreted by different worldview paradigm ego lens filters. And this one, selected butthurt ego lens filter, fundamentalist theism. So, as we could see, I kind of did, did up the little ed edit. So, we have... Ogarina instead of Katarina there, and you know I've got the devil horns, and it's satanic timelines and how to burn in hell with your host Satan. <laughs> you know, and so kind of poking fun at the fundamentalist view there. Um, then the next one is more to what Katarina was talking about. Selected butthurt ego lens filter, new age spiritual fascism. So, 
there we are, done up all creepy. Katarina's like this, eh, and like I'm this undead zombie with like a hole in my head and, you know, my eye all screwed up and everything. Negative timelines. Don't listen to these guys. Your entities will harvest your soul. They have an evil, dark energy attached to them. So you must ignore them and shun them and meditate and wait until the Galactic Federation of Light lands in their spaceships and saves us all from these evil, dark, dark, dark things. And then we will ascend into 5D where it's always light all the time. Yeah, high little heat flash, yeah. Okay, and the last one I've done, I'm probably going to do a few more of these, but the the last one that I've done here is um, Conspiracy Paranoia. Because that, that's another good one, you know, talking about like what we're saying about the truth movement and stuff. Illuminati Timelines. And these guys are an Illuminati psyop for the New World Order. <clears throat> All Masons are evil. And these three evil people are working for the Rothschilds, Bushes, and the evil gray ETs, and reptilians. And they only want to confuse you. So don't believe anything they say ever. Just close your ears and minds and shun these evil people. Then for those of you who have ever watched the Andromeda TV series, with your host, Dragon Musevni. <laughs> So Andromeda fans will understand that joke, and everybody else will be like, who in the hell is Dragon Musevni? But, um, yeah, I, I thought it was just, you know, incredibly amusing to, uh, to go over that, because it shows a lot of just the, the mental malware and the, the divisionism, you know, even within the truth movement, where bickering and bitching and attacking each other and calling each other trolls and shills, of course, is much more important than actually bringing about, you know, freedom and equal rights and the end of the banksters and so on. Yeah, sticking our penises in people's faces is much more important. Yaha. Yeah. 